sometimes um, you feel like, oh, I'm too small or I'm, I'm not good enough. I'm not talented. I can't do important things. Well, my friends and I are going to tell you a story about a little boy named Dave. Now, Dave lived in a land called Israel a long time ago. So long ago that there were no such thing as bicycles, tricycles, jeepneys, buses. They were mostly just sheep. Especially around where Dave lived because you see, Dave was a shepherd. Where's Dave? Now, that's not Dave. That's one of his brothers. Nope. Another brother. Dave had a lot of brothers. No, no, not the sheep. He's behind the sheep. Uh, shoot there, Fluffy. Hi, I'm Dave. I have a lot of brothers. Yep, seven to be exact. So, Dave and his brothers spent a lot of their time in the field taking care of their sheep, which could be hard work because, you see, their sheep had an unusual problem. They tip over. Oh, look, there goes one now. But Dave had an even bigger problem. You see, of all the brothers, Dave was the smallest. That's right. Everybody's bigger than I am. And sometimes his big brothers would pick on him. Oh, Dave, one of my sheep fell over. Would you come pick it up for me? Okay. Oh, Dave, looks like one of mine fell too. Come here and get it. After you pick up our sheep, could you run and get me a bite to eat? I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, me too. Get me something too. So, that had, is how things had always been for Dave. His brothers always bullied him and nothing ev exciting ever happened around there. Until one day when Dave's father came running out with some bad news. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dave, can you pick those up? Oh, 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 boys, oh, boys, I've got, I've got horrible news. The, the, the Philistines are attacking. The, the Philippines are attractive? Hmm, I quite agree. No, no, the Philistines are attacking. The Philistines are people who hate Israel. They want to take a land and make us Israelites their slaves. Ah! We, need, we need to protect ourselves, but how? King Saul is putting together an army to stop the Philistines. He needs your help. You must help save Israel. We, we must, must help save Israel. We must help save Israel. We must help save Israel. Hey, 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 Dave. Where do you think you're going? I must help save Israel. <laughs> it's very nice you want to save country. But saving a country is a big thing. You're a little fella. Big people do big things and little people do little things. So, stay with the ship. But... So, by the time Dave's brother got to King Saul's camp, battle lines had already been drawn between the Philistines and the Israelites. And as in the custom of the day, the armies would line up and yell at each other. Hello, Philist Israelites. You are pigs. And soon we will put apples in your mouth and stick you in our toaster ovens. 
Ha, yes. And after we defeat you, you'll be our slaves and have to fetch us our slippers. Yes, and iron our trousers. <laughs> and wipe our little noses. Well, don't you have anything to say? Um, do you guys have any fried chicken? I really feel like some fried chicken now. Yeah, me too. This is going to be easier than we thought. King Saul, I think we can save us a lot of time. How about you get your strongest man, and we get our strongest man, and they will fight. If our champion beats your champion, then you will be our slaves. But if your champion beats our champion, we will be your slaves. What do you think about that? Well... The Israelites were getting a bit tired of all the yelling, and the Philistines seemed to be a little on the small side. So, King Saul agreed. That seems like a reasonable idea. All right, we agree. Send out your champion. Hey, Goliath! <laughs> Fight me. The Israelites were so terrified that they all ran away and hid. Nobody will fight me. I come back tomorrow. And that's exactly what he did. Goliath came back the next day, and the next day, and the next day for 40 days. But every time he showed up, all the Israelites went away and hid. One day, Dave was asked to bring food to the battle camp. When he arrived, everyone was hiding because it was just about time for Goliath to come out. Hello? Is anybody here? Shh. He'll hear you. Who? Him. That giant green Philistine there. Who will fight me? Well, who's going to fight him? What? Are you nuts? He'll have us for lunch. Speaking of which, what did you bring us? Come on, have you forgotten? We're the children of God. What did you say? The children of God. The Bible says that the Israelites were God's chosen people. God led them through the desert. He helped them cross the Red Sea. And every time they went into battle, God was there with them. They had always known that if God was on their side, no one could stand against them. But King Saul and his men were so terrified of big, tall Goliath that they forgot that God was even bigger. So, once again, no one could answer Goliath's challenge. Ah, uh, no one could fight. They told me that you were the children of God. You are cowards. I come back tomorrow. I can't believe you're letting him say that. Somebody's got to do something. What are you going to do, Dave? Remember, you're a little guy. Leave this big stuff for big people, okay? But Dave knew exactly what he had to do. So he went straight to King Saul and announced his plan. I will fight Goliath. <laughs> what? 
I'm sorry. My ears must be failing. I could have sworn I heard you say you will fight Goliath, but you didn't say that, did you? Yes, I did. Oh, I say that's very kind, but let's be reasonable. You're a tiny little fella, but Goliath, he's 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 enormous. No, no, no. That's a job for a big person, not a little boy like you. You're big, I'm little. My head only comes to your middle. But I say little guys can do big things too. Yes, but Goliath, his... With God's help, little guys can do big things too. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay then, put on my armor. You know, I think maybe I should just go as plain old me. Well, I suppose. But have you seen Goliath? Why? He's... He's... God's bigger, and when I think of him, that's when I figure. With his help, little guys can do big things. With his help, little guys can do big things. With his help, little guys can do big things too. Well, Dave wasn't exactly sure what he was getting himself into. But he knew one thing, that God would be there with him. So, Dave went down to the stream and got some smooth stones. And then, he went back to camp and waited for Goliath. Who will fight me? I will fight you, Goliath. Huh? Who said that? I did. Huh? Ho, ho. Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? <laughs> I don't exactly know what you mean, but you are not a dog. You are a really big guy who wants to beat me up. And I come in the name of the almighty God who will help me defeat you today. The Philistines were so terrified that they all ran away and hid, and Israel was saved. And that's the story of how a little guy named Dave saved a little big, a big thing. <laughs> so that's the story that we showed. And can I have all the puppeteers stand up, please? Can I have everyone stand up and review yourself? Thank you guys, you did a great job.